Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video. So in this video, we are going to learn how to take orders for custom printed products and send confirmation on WhatsApp. So suppose I do a business of custom printed products. Now here what I want to do is, whenever a customer is placing an order for custom printed products, I want to send a confirmation message to them on their WhatsApp. But here is a twist. We are going to learn a new thing in this video. Now, along with sending a message to the customer on their WhatsApp, this time we are going to send a message to the owner as well. So here, whenever an order is placed at my business, which is custom printed products, a message will be sent for cons uh, confirmation to the customer as well as to the owner also. So here to perform this task, I am using two software applications. I am using Jotform and WhatsApp. So here I'm using Jotform to receive orders. So here let me tell you that Jotform is an online form builder where you can create online custom forms and use them in various ways. So instead of Jotform, you can also use any other form builder such as Pavli form builder type form. And you can also use any payment gateway here. And uh, to send messages, I'm using WhatsApp, which is a chat application. So here the idea is whenever I'm going to receive an order in Jot form or whenever an order is placed by a customer with, uh, through Jot form, a message will be sent to the customer on their WhatsApp automatically and a message will be sent to the uh, owner as well automatically. But there is an issue. Jot form and WhatsApp do not have any integration between them. They do not, they are not linked. So how I'm going to perform this task? I need to create some link between them so that I can perform this. So for this only, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software, which will build an automation between Jot form and WhatsApp. So here what will happen is whenever an order is placed by a customer into Jot form, a message will be sent automatically to them on their WhatsApp and a message will be sent to the owner for order confirmation as well. Isn't it wonderful? But the best part here is to use Pabli Connect. You do not need to have coding skills and programming knowledge. It is actually very easy to use. So let us understand this complete process on my screen along with a real time example. Okay guys, so this is the dashboard for Jotform. So here I've already created my account and from Jotform I have created my custom online forms. So further in the video, I'm going to tell you that how you can also create your forms by using Jotform. Let's first see, uh, see my form for mug printing. So this is my business. I print mugs, customize, customize mugs. So this is the form. Here it uh, Here is the preview of my form. So from this form, my customers can place the order for their custom mug printings. Okay. So here I provided all the facilities that they can choose the quantity, size, color and other details as well. And once they have, and also they can provide the uh, any image or any format which they are planning to get printed on the mug. So from here they can provide the image or um, address of image as well. And once they are going to fill the form and submit it, they are going to get the order confirmed. Now, what I am going to do here is I am going to show you if an uh, if a, an if an order is placed for my custom mug printings. I want to send a message to the user as well as I want to show uh, send the message to the admin on their WhatsApp. Okay, so here we will be learning uh, that how we can send message to two users at the same time. The one will be admin, the user of the owner of this form, this mug printing business. And the second person will be the user or we can say the customer who placed the order. So right now what I am going to do here is I am going to make a submission, demo submission of a customer and then we will check on WhatsApp if both of the persons are getting message or not. So here, let me select uh, the quantity as two. Okay, uh, I'm going to select the size this one. Let's keep it black and here let's keep it green. Okay, now here you can see I have selected and according to the customized fields, the price is also set. Now. Here you can see this is the total price. Now here I'm going to provide the image as well. So here I provided a URL for image and let me write the text message which I wanted to get printed on my mug. So it will be happy birthday. You can also give it according to your choice. Now here I'm going to provide the details. So suppose this is the customer. Let me just edit the phone number as well. Okay. Okay, so I provided the phone number according to the instructions that I have to provide the area code and the phone number. Now, here you can see here I need to provide the 
address second line as well so here i just provided it okay let me remove the comma fine now here you can see this form is completely ready for submission i have provided the customization details i have provided the text details and i have provided the address and contact details now here the thing is as and when i'm going to click on submit we are going to check on whatsapp of user as well as on whatsapp of the admin that if he's receiving the message for order confirmation or not so here i'm just going to click on submit and now as you can see the form is submitted the order is placed so let's check on whatsapp excellent here you can see this is the message for the customer order confirmed hello zoya khan thank you for shopping with us your order of mugs and these are all the details here you can see and this is the complete message now let us check the message for admin as well so here let me show you perfect you can see this is the message for admin as well that new order received congratulations you have received a new order of mugs and these are all the details of the mug as well as there are the contact details of the customer as well isn't it amazing that just when the order is getting placed user as well as admin both are getting notified on whatsapp so you must be thinking how did i manage to perform this task that whenever a form for order is submitting the user and the admin both are getting message on whatsapp instantly that to automatically so here let me tell you that i followed three simple steps and created this workflow between whatsapp and jot form so let me show you what are those steps so you can also create this amazing workflow and start using it okay guys so these are the steps which i followed to create the integration between jot form and whatsapp so the step one is connect jot form to pably connect with the help of webhook url perfect so here for this first we need to log in into our pably connect account and then we need to connect our jot form account with pably connect with the help of webhook url so you must be thinking what is this webhook url so here let me tell you this webhook url is an address provided by pably connect you have you have to copy the same and paste it here into jot form and this way our jot form account will be connected with pably connect now here the second step is collect the data from jot form in pably connect so here now as our jot form account is connected with pably connect we have to collect the data from jot form into pably connect so for example if any form submission is made by a customer the details of that uh, order the detail of that customer all are going to get captured here into pably connect automatically isn't it wonderful that we'll just cap uh, capture the data of jot form here into pably connect automatically now the third step here is send the same data to wati for sending messages on whatsapp okay so now as the data which is collected from jot form into pably connect we have to transfer the same data into wati so that we can start sending messages on whatsapp now here i know you must be thinking what is this term wati and why are we using it so here i would like to tell you that we are using whatsapp's official api which is wati so wati is a software which we are going to use to integrate whatsapp with pably connect why because whatsapp do not allows you to send any messages directly so that is why to integrate whatsapp with pably connect we are using wati software so further in the video i'll tell you in detail what is wati so here in these three steps we are going to create this automation workflow between jot form and whatsapp so let us see on my screen how it is actually going to be performed so keep watching till last okay guys so to start with the process first type pably.com in your browser p a b b l y pably.com now here you can see this is the website of pably.com now here in this option products we are going to click on connect so this is the uh, application which sorry this is the landing page of pably connect this is what we are going to use pably connect now here i am going to click on sign in as i have already created my account into pably connect but if you are a new user or if you are a fresher you can also create your account just by signing up for free from here in 2 minutes so now i just clicked on sign in and as you can see here is my account perfect here you can see this all apps window will appear and now here to continue with the workflow i'm going to scroll down at connect i'm going to click on access now and once i clicked on access now you can see this dashboard will appear here i'm going to click on this top right button named as uh, sorry this button at top right corner named as create workflow so here basically this dialog box will appear and it is asking us to enter a workflow name here so here we need to provide the name to uh, name of our workflow so i'm just going to give it as jot form to whatsapp 
you can also give it according to your choice it's just i'm giving it according to our topic jot form to whatsapp and then i'm going to click on create and once the workflow title workflow name is created you can see this window will appear and here you can see these there are two boxes the first one is trigger the second one is action now here your obvious question will be what are this trigger and action so here let me explain you that automation works on the concept of trigger and action so here a trigger basically means when this happens or you can say happening of an event okay and the action here is do this or you can also say that response to that event so according to our topic the trigger here will be when a new form submission is made into jot form or we can say when an order is placed into jot form the action will be send a message on whatsapp okay let's under understand this practically so here in the choose app i am going to choose jot form okay this one jot form and then i am going to select the trigger event so the trigger event here will be new response now as you can see after selecting the trigger event this webhook url has been provided by pabli connect you just have to copy it but before copying it let us first read this help text here open your form in the form builder and click on the settings tab go to the integration search for the webhook and paste the above url in add webhook field okay so for now we again need to go to our uh, dash jot form dashboard so here as i told you i have created my account so this is da this dashboard is available you can also create your account and once you create your account if you want to create online custom forms you can create from this option create form so once you create your form you can also customize it and edit it according to your choice so here as you can see this is my form mug printings from this edit option you can do customizations into your form so let me show you you can add the logo of your business okay you can add form elements so from here you can see as i have added so many elements here into my form you can do the same from this uh, form elements option okay so my form is completely ready i do not need to get uh, do any editing here i just want to connect it with pabli connect so for this here i'm going to click on settings tab and at left you can see this integration op option so at integration i am going to click on webhooks so here on webhooks i am going to click on edit integration and here i am going to remove this and here we are just going to copy this webhook url which is provided by pabli connect just now so i just copied it here and i'm going to paste it here now as i have a, i have pasted it i'm just going to click on complete integration and now as you can see the integration is completed this means my jot form account is now connected with pabli connect and now it is waiting for the webhook response now what we have to do here is we need to capture the data here into pabli connect so for this again we need to order a place an order place an order in jot form so here let me just place an order so what i'm going to do right now is i'm again going to make some entries so that those details can get captured here so here sorry here let's select the quantity as 3 let's keep the size this one let's keep it white and here let's keep it pink now as you can see i have selected the mug customization i am going to provide uh, this webhook url and then here i'm just going to write uh, happy anniversary okay and then i'm going to provide the detail so let's provide the detail for tina george okay and i'm just going to edit some details here perfect so this form is now completely ready for submission i have filled all the fields here and now i'm just going to click on submit so now as you can see this form is submitted and here let's check on pabli connect if the same data of tina george is captured or not so here you can see perfect here it has collected all the data which we entered here into this form so here let's see the let's see what are the details captured here so as you can see the order was placed by tina george okay so here is tina george her email address okay her phone number and all the details are here now here what we are going to do is we are just going to check what are the details captured so you can see everything is here except from the date which uh, on which the order was placed the date is not available here but here what i want to do is i also want to provide the date of order which uh, when the order was placed so that i can use them into further steps why because i need to remind the user sorry remind the admin when the order was placed but if the date is not available here how i'm going to do that do not worry here 
For this, I am again going to establish a new window here. And here in the choose action, I am going to choose date time formatter by Pabli. Okay, so with the help of that date time formatter, I am able to, I'll be able to enter the current date. I can add current date into my workflow with the help of date time formatter by Pabli. So as in when I'm going to click on connect here, it will ask for the basic format in which I want the date. So here I want the format and the date into this format, which is date, month and year. You can again choose from all the uh, formats available here. So it's just my choice that I want it into date, month, year. So that is why I'm choosing it. Okay, and then it is asking us to whether include the time or not. So I just don't, I don't want time. I just want date. So I'll click on false here. And when I'm going to click on save and send test request, uh, test request, it is going to provide me the date here. Perfect. So today is 11th of September 2021. The date is now provided by Pabli Connect. Isn't it wonderful? We just added the current date with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, the thing here is, now this date is ready available here for admin. Now, what uh, what uh, what is the next challenge here is I also want to inform the user when his order is going to get delivered to him. So for this, again, we need to have some delivery date. But here, let's check. No de delivery date is available. No, not here, not here, nothing. But I want to inform the user as well. Sorry, the customer as well. Now here you can see um, order placing date is available for the admin. But how the user is going to get to know that when his order is going to get delivered. So here the idea is I just want to deliver the product to him in three days. So I will be needing a day, uh, date three days from now. So for this again, I am going to establish a new window. And here what I am going to choose here is I will be selecting date time formatter by Pabli date time formatter this time let me show you what i am going to do so after selecting the choose app in the action event i will be choosing modify current date modify current date once we choose current date now we want to modify the current date so here i'm going to click on connect and here i'm going to choose the format so this is the format again in which i want the date so i'm just selecting date date month and year format Time zone, I will be selecting Asia Kolkata. Why? Because I am doing my business in India. So that is why I will choose Asia Kolkata. Let me choose it from here. Okay. So here this is available Asia Kolkata. Perfect. Now here the operation is add. Let me uh, first explain you what is operation here. So here with the help of add and subtract, these are the two options available. You can add the days into the current date as well as you can subtract the date from the current date. So here I want to add three days into the current date so that my delivery date can be available. So the unit is days, hours and minutes. So here the point is from here you can even add days, even add hours, even add minutes. So here I want to add days into the, uh, sorry, days into the current date. Okay, how many days I want to enter? Uh, uh, add I want to add three days okay I want to add three days so here let's check on save and send test request perfect here you can see a date from th uh, three days from today is available now here you can see today is 11th of September or September and with the help of this modify current date program by Pabli Connect, we just added a date three days from now, which is 14th of September. Now, here both of the days are available. This one is for admin and this one is the for customer. They will be helpful in the further steps. Now, as you can see, everything is completed here. The next application which we are going to choose in the action window is Vati. So your obvious question will be why are we using Wati? So as I told you, Wati is the official API for WhatsApp as WhatsApp do not allows you to send the messages directly. So that is why we are using Wati. So in the action event, I'm just going to choose select template messages, sorry, send template messages. And then I'm going to click on connect. And now as I'm going to click on connect, I need to connect my Wati account with Pabli Connect. So for this, I'm going to add new connection. And here we need to provide this API endpoint as well as access token. So here, let me first show you that how we can get this API endpoint and access token. For this, let us read this uh, help text here. The best part of using Pabli Connect is it provides help text everywhere. So you do not need to get where you can just follow the help text and create the workflow from your own. So here, according to this, it is written, navigate to top on your Wati dashboard, click on hamburger icon, then click on API docs to find your API endpoint. 
and the same goes for access token so here is my vati dashboard here you can see this is the dashboard of vati here i have already created my account so that is why it is looking like this if you do want to create your vati account here let me tell you that a link is available into the description of this video you can follow the link and see the video for how you can also create your vati account and start using it to send messages on whatsapp so here my vati account is ready i just need to connect it with pabli connect so for this here i'm going to click on this option you can see this i'm going to click here and at api docs i am going to choose here both of the keys are available api and point as well as the access token so the first one is api endpoint so here i'm just going to copy api endpoint here and then i'm going to copy the access token as well so i just copied it and here i'm going to paste it and then when i'm going to click on save my vati account will get connected to pabli connect here you can see it is connected now once it is connected these fields will appear and basically it is asking us to map the data so here you must be thinking what is mapping and how it is basically done so let me tell you that mapping is the data which is captured here into pabli connect from jot form that same data will be available here into the drop down here into this drop drop, uh, drop down here and from there you can map the data very easily with just one click according to the field asked so here the thing is we want to send messages to the admin as well as the customer so for this let me tell you how this process is going to happen so first we are making the template ready sorry making this window action window ready for the user only the user and not for the admin okay i am i am repeating again i am making this video sorry i am making this action window ready for the customer this message will be sent to customer which we are preparing from here and the next window will be uh, we will be using for admin so here let me tell you that here it is asking us for the whatsapp number and here is an instruction given here enter a valid whatsapp number with country code without plus sign okay so here it means we need to provide a country sorry provide our valid whatsapp number along with the country code but we have to exclude the plus sign why because what vati does not accept the plus sign so that is why here so here what i did into my form is i already provided this instruction here that you need to provide the area code without plus sign along with the phone number so that is why i have the data available here you can see into this format so here is the area code and here again here is the phone number perfect so in this way i just entered the phone number of the customer now we need to proceed with the further step but before that let me show you that this is how mapping works this same data is available here let me minimize this window this as well now here you can see the same phone number the same area code is available here also so we just mapped it with one click so this is how easy mapping is now the second step is template so here template you can see as my vati account is connected with pabli connect all the templates available into my vati account are visible here so here you must be thinking what are templates so again to understand this we are going to move on to our vati dashboard okay and from here this broadcast option here you can see this option named as template messages so template messages basically are predefined messages which we need to get prepare from vati so that we can start sending them on whatsapp so here let me show you from this option you can create your own template messages you need to provide the template name you need to provide the category all the details here and the body of the template body is the message which you are planning to send for example if you are using this to uh, send welcome messages for your customer so here you can provide the body as hello the customer's name welcome to our business and anything like that so once you have provided the body of your template you need to click on save as draft now that you are going to click on save as draft your draft will be uh, available here then you need to get it approved so that you can uh, actually send it on whatsapp so to get them approved you need to submit your template from this arrow option to facebook so once it is approved then only you can start using it to send on whatsapp so here once your template is submitted it basically ta it takes 30 minutes to two business days to get approved it does not at all get approved immediately so once your status uh, sorry template is approved this is how the status will look and then you can start using it so now here the template which i am going to use now is order confirmation alert 
order confirmation alert let me show you my template here so here let me show you these are all the templates which are available into my account so here you can see this is the template order confirmation alert let me show you here so this is the name which i have provided order confirmation alert the category is alert update and i have provided the body here you can see let me show you order confirmed hello the name of customer thank you for shopping with, uh, with us and all the details here now you would have noticed one thing that i have provided some values here between double curly braces what does that mean it means they are variables and they are going to keep on changing along with every new customer the name is going to change the product name all the details of the product okay so they are important i'm going to tell you further in the video so here let's select it the template message okay so template is selected now the second thing here is broadcast name so the broadcast here i'm just going to write as mug printings uh, you can give the broadcast according to your uh, choice as well so the use of broadcast is basically you can check uh, broadcast history from here and you can check how many messages are sent and all the status of the messages just it nothing so here i just provided the broadcast name now comes the last step of this here is custom parameter so here we need to provide the custom parameter so for this again let's move on to vati and here uh, in template messages let me show you my template here so here are all the custom parameters of my templates here you can see first one is name second one is product name third one is delivery name and the fourth one is company name so one two three four temp sorry four temp custom custom parameters are here into my account i need to provide the same here i need to ma map them so here in the help text the same format is available we just need to copy this so i'm just copying the one okay and then i'm going to paste it four times 1 2 3 4 so in this way four custom parameters are ready here 1 2 3 4 okay they are ready here now what we have to do is we have to provide the name of the custom parameter as well as the value you can see this color and this blue they are all example so you do not need to get confused here we are going to map one by one so the first parameter here is name so again in the place of color i am going to write name the name of first parameter is name itself according to my template and the value will be my customer's name so i am just removing this and here from this option all the details are available so i am just going to map the customer's full name here which is tina with a space i am going to provide the last name as well which is george let me show you perfect now as you can see the first parameter is ready which is for name the second one is product name perfect so here in the second i'm just going to remove this product name okay i'm going to write into the same format which is product underscore name and now here in the value i'm going to provide the product name so here you can see the product name is mugs and uh, again now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide some more details here in the value itself so with a space i'm going to provide the quantity okay which was 325 ml and with a space again i'm going to provide that color it, uh, it will be available from here white and with a space again i'm going to put a comma i'm going to write handle name sorry handle color handle underscore color okay and then the space i'm going to provide this color, handle color which is pink name now as you can see my second parameter is ready i have provided the product name and its detail okay now the third parameter here is delivery date so here i'm just going to write the delivery date let me show you how okay again in the same format i am going to write delivery underscore date and now in the place of flu i am going to provide the delivery date so here let me show you that delivery date from where we are going to map the delivery date we got the delivery date here from modify current date option which is this 14th of september Three days from today. So this is how we provided the delivery date. Now what we are going to do is we are going to choose the last custom parameter, which is company name. So here I'm just going to write the company name. Company underscore name. Perfect. And in the value, I'm going to provide the company name. Let me show you. 
I'm just going to provide it manually. Why? Because it is going to remain same for every customer. I just need to change these details and not the company name. So that is why I'm going to provide it manually. So it is customized mug printing. Or you can say custom mug printings. Custom mug printings. Now all the parameters are completely ready. You can see I have provided four parameters here. Map them correctly. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on save and send test request. And now here you can see once I clicked on save and send test request, a message on this WhatsApp number of the customer is sent. Here let's check. Here you can see completely ready. Let's check here. Perfect. Here is the message order confirmed. Hello, Tina, George. Thank you for shopping with us. And all the details are here. But our process is not just here. We are we have just completed our first step here. Not first basically, but here we have just completed the process till the customer is going to receive the message. But now here in this video, we are going to learn that how we can send the message to the user as well. So to the owner of the business as well. So for this again, I need to establish a new window and here in the choose app, I am going to choose Vati again. Okay, Vati, this and again, I'm going to select the action event as send template message. Again, I'm going to click on connect and again, I'm going to select this already made connection. Why? Because I do not want to add new connection. It is the same as well. So when I click on submit, my Vati account will get connected to Pabli connect again. We have like a re-establish the same window but we are going to enter the different details here so here you can see i just uh, again the fields are appearing here so in the first step of vati what we did here is here we mapped the phone number phone number of whom phone number of customer so it is going to keep on changing along with every new customer but in the next action a window here what we are going to do is we are going to provide the data manually we are going to provide the phone number or sorry whatsapp number of the admin of the owner of the business so it won't get changed this is the difference between manually mapping the data sorry manually typing the data and mapping it so here if i'm going to provide it manually it will remain same and the message will be sent on same number every time but when we talk about this the message is going to be sent on every new customer got it now here i'm going to provide the number so here let me show you the number of uh, the business owner okay so the business owner is let me show you this is the phone number so i'm just going to provide in the same format which is i'm going to provide a number with uh, country code but not the plus sign so here with 91 it is going to get started and this is the complete phone number Now I have provided the phone number. Let's uh, move on to the next step, which is template. So again, here, as I told you, my Vati account is connected so that all the templates are available. But this time, the template which we are going to use is the different one. Let me show you again into my Vati account. The template which I am going to choose here is new order received as it is the message for the owner. So it will be new order received. So here I have provided the template name and this is the complete body of my message. Here, show, let me show you. It is new order received. Congratulations. You have received a new order and there are the product details, date, quantity and everything we need to provide here. So now here the template we are going to select new order received. This one and the broadcast name again I'm just going to provide it manually. Mark printings. Okay. Now here in the custom parameters, again, we need to provide the same value into custom parameters. So here, let me again count how many custom parameters are there. One product, second date, third quantity, fourth name, fifth email, sixth address. And the seventh one is phone number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven parameters are there. So again, I'm just going to copy this format here. Okay. And I'm going to paste it seven times. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now here what I'm going to do is again, I'm just going to map the custom parameters. So let me just map it and then I will show you how it will look like. Okay, guys, so I just mapped all the values. So here, let me show you what I actually did. 
so the first parameter according to my template was name sorry uh, the products name so here in the products name I provided the product name its quantity its color and its handle color four thing I have provided all you can also keep according to your choice I am just mentioning the custom parameter according to my template it can be uh, a bit different according to your template size as well here you just need to pay attention on how we map and not what we are mapping we are ju I'm just mapping the details according to my choice so here I have provided the mugs detail all the color and everything the quant sorry so the size of the mug the color the color of handle okay so this is how my first parameter was ready now the second parameter here is date so here in the date I provided the date which we converted with the help of date time date time by Pabli so from there I provided the current date which is 11th of September perfect the second parameter is ready the third parameter was quantity let me show you quantity so here again the quantity was available I just mapped it from here you can see quantity was 3 so I just provided the value here as quantity 3 and then the next parameter was name the name of whom the name of customer so in the name of customer I provided the first name Tina last name George the next parameter was email so I provided the email again which was available here into the details of customer so I just mapped it here and then the last second was address so I provided the address so I just wrote the address here in the name and in the value I provided the address line 1 which is uh, and the address line 2 again they all are available here I just mapped it by one clicking here and clicking here okay and the last parameter was phone phone of whom phone number of customer so I just provided the name of parameter phone and the value again the phone number of the customer was available here so I just mapped it so in this way all the custom parameters was uh, are ready now here the uh, thing is when I'm when I'm going to click on save and send test request a message is going to send on the owner's uh, phone number that the order is received so here let's check again so I'm going to click on save and send test request and now as you can see the response here is received and a message onto this phone number is sent successfully perfect so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you let's check here perfect here you can see this is the message new order received here you can see congratulations you have received and all the quantity uh, uh, customization of the product the date is here the quantity is here and the co customer details are here the customer was Tina George yes she was email address and the uh, address residential address and phone number everything is here so this means we have just created our workflow so I'm just going to save it here okay now here again I'm just going to save this one also let me just save it now the thing is we have created the workflow but now what, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check it once more again on real time if it is working smoothly or not so for this what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to place an order again here uh, what I'll do I'll place an order again with this jot form and then what we are going to do is we are going to check on whatsapp of customer as well as on the whatsapp of the owner as well if they are receiving the message or not so here again I'm going to uh, place an order so let's keep the quantity as one mug size as what 450 ml color as black and here the handle color I'm going to keep it as uh, let's keep blue okay and here I'm just going to provide the details so here I provided the uh, address of the image which I want to get printed on my mug okay and uh, here I'm just going to provide here let me show you I'm just going to provide uh, happy friendship day let me correct it happy friendship day okay now here I provided the message which I want to get printed on my mug and here I'm, again I'm going to make the entries for this form so let me just make them so guys just so guys just I entered the details of a customer who is Alex Roy and all his contact as well as address detail now I'm just going to click on submit and then we will check on real time if both the persons the customer as well as the owner are getting the message on whatsapp or not so I just clicked on submit here the form is submitted the order is placed for cash on delivery perfect now here let's check on whatsapp if the message to both of them are uh, sent or not so here let's uh, check for the customer first 
Excellent. Here is the customer's message. Order confirmed. Hello, Alex Roy. Thank you for shopping with us. Your mugs order and this is the complete message. And here you can see this is the message for customer. Now let's check the message for the admin as well. So here I opened the admin's phone number into incognito mode. Excellent. Here is the message for the admin which is new order received. Congratulations. You have received and the details. You can see the quantity. You can see the customer details. Yes, Alex Roy placed the order and all the details here. So this means our workflow is working very fine, very smoothly and here the amazing part is you must be wondering that it is really awesome that as and when a submission is make, made, as and when an order is placed, both of the persons are getting message automatically just with the help of Pabli Connect. So let me show you the recap what we actually did. So here. We first integrated our Jot from account with Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL and captured all the data. And the thing here is in this data which was captured here into Pabli Connect, the current date was not available. So for that we established a new window and with the help of date time formatter by Pabli, we entered the current date. Okay. And again with the current date, we modified it to uh, get the delivery date for the customer. So with the help of again date time formatter by Pabli, we got the delivery date after modifying the current date. Okay. And in the next step, we integrated our Vati account with Pabli Connect and mapped the all data so that we can send the message on the customer's phone number. Okay. And again, we established a new window again, which selected the Vati uh, as our application and it, con it was connected with Pabli Connect. And this time we mapped the details for the owner. And this is how we created this workflow just with the help of Pabli Connect. So here what is happening is whenever the order is getting placed, both the persons are getting the message on their WhatsApp. Isn't it really wonderful that we just did this complicated step very easily with the help of Pabli Connect? The most wonderful part which I'm going to tell you here is the link of this same workflow is available into the description box of this video. You can just copy the same link and start using this amazing workflow into your Pabli Connect account just for free. So you just have to copy it and you can start this ready workflow into your Pabli Connect account. Not just these applications, you can integrate plenty of applications with the help of Pabli Connect. This was all for today's video. If you have any feedback, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli .com. Or you can also ask your queries at this link here. And if you want to check the price for Pabli Connect, you can check the price from here, this link, and automate your business. If you like our video, do not forget to press the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. And for more such videos, you can also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.